welcome to another episode of Mental Health Mondays. We're in season two, and I am super excited because my guest at this time is somebody I've been wanting to get on the show for a long time. This gentleman has been spreading a lot of positivity, which unfortunately in, on social media is pretty rare. Uh, if you are any <clears throat> anybody in the circles on X, you'll notice that this man's uh, pictures and um, motivational sayings have been source of positivity. He keeps a very chill attitude. He hangs out in the spaces, makes him so much more entertaining and just being real and being himself. And I'm talking about the man, the myth, the legend, Zeke. Welcome to the show. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I hope you're doing well. I am. I'm doing very well. I'm very excited and to have you here. And I just want to, let's just get right into it because social media gets, sometimes gets a bad rap for being nothing but negativity, but it is kind of tough out there to try to be positive and still kind of get, you know, get a momentum, get that engagement. Uh, what, what, um, what's kind of your view of social media at this point, maybe specifically X and just kind of how you're feeling about trying to stay positive and keep those positive messages out there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, X is the only platform that I use personally. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mess with Instagram or Facebook. I got rid of all that like in 2011 or something. Wow. I, I recently got back into social media, you know, the whole Elon Musk thing. I was mm -hmm. intrigued. So I started this account in April and I noticed a, a thing about this platform where you know it, i mainly started off just like it was like a news platform to me you know like mm -hmm. i don't i don't need to watch the news i can you know read it quick like that and then i just realized wait this is not what this platform should be about mm -hmm. so you know i i flip-flopped and i was like okay I'm going to try to make people happy, try to make them smile, you know, I mean, try to make them laugh. Yeah. I jump into spaces. I try to, you know, entertain, uh, you know, I, my posts, yeah, is very motivationally, you know, to hopefully make people's day, you know, that's what I want to do. That's that, what my account's all about. And I and I feel like you do that in spades. The people that appreciate you, and there's a lot of us out there that um, you make the spaces that more entertaining, but also like not a not not just like laugh, but because levity is important, but also the messages behind that too, because you're you're um you're very creative with you you're putting your face on a lot of the different pictures of the day, but it also it, it brings a smile, but it also it, it's a good way to start the day or or to to turn the day around if somebody's having a bad day. And do you feel like um do you feel like people understand the uh, the serious need for levity levity and positivity, or do you think sometimes people just dismiss you as oh he's a clown? Do you ever feel like sometimes people just see you as a clown, or do you feel like enough people or the right people understand what you're trying to do? No, honestly, I've never, never gotten the vibe of anybody thinking I was a clown. You're, you're always going to have the haters yeah. that, you know, aren't, you know, they're haters are going to hate, but the circle I run around, you know, we're, mm -hmm. you know, mostly, you know, the connections I've made, you know, I, I try to keep it tight, you know, and as long as you do that, like you're a I mean, you're good. You're going to flourish, you know? Do you think that social media gets a bad rap in that when people refer to it as so like online versus what they call in real life? Because I wonder if, I mean, so to me, social media is part of real life. These are real people you interact with. Absolutely. Every they're, they're my friends. Yeah. Like, like Brock Pearson, I consider him a friend. Uh, Honey Badger, I consider her a friend. You, I consider you a friend. Thank you. 
you know, like every, everybody in Greg gang, you know, I consider them a friend. Like it's, it, yes, we're all just trying to make connections, but I mean, let's try to keep it positive people. Yeah, exactly. And do you think, what do you think it is? Do you think it's human nature? Do you think it's, it's something innate or why? I do you think, think it's just the times we're in, man. Yeah. There's tough times. Everybody's feeling it. I'm feeling it too. I how did um how did the COVID lockdowns affect you or did they affect you much at all? Uh it, honest I mean I I live in Georgia so we were like the first state to open back up like right away. Cool. So it didn't it didn't really affect me too much. I got, I got, you know, like a month off of work and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a month. Sometimes that month is all you need to recharge, right? I, it, it was a good month. I mean, hey, I mean, you know, got yeah. got some unemployment benefits, and that was that. Though it was short lived, but it was nice when it was, you know. Yeah, there there were some people that did better with the lockdowns than others, and then some people had a hard time really had a hard time with lockdowns. And oh, absolutely, man. I was right there in front of the screen the whole time. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about Elon and, and X and Spaces. Um, do you feel like, in your experience, do you feel like X overall has become a better place uh, for interacting on social media compared to how you used to be? And you mentioned that you just have, ditched facebook instagram what is it about x that that appeals to you well that's funny is it that you ask um well it's not funny sorry i, no, I, I kind of awkward <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry not, not funny, let me uh -huh. let, let's rewind so anyway like i said i've been off of social media for like years and years and all of a sudden i just thought you know it, I, I joined in April and this was when it was still Twitter. Yeah. And then, you know, it was the most interesting time. I think I could have came in because Elon Musk was, you know, just making all these changes, like the change of the name from Twitter to X. Yep. And, you know, I just admire the guy just like everybody else does. You know, I'm really into space. I, 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 you know, that my whole alien thing, you know, like I, I truly think I believe in aliens. Like, how could you not? Like, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. Well, it's but like, it's like he's that just, famous, famous quote uh, from Arthur C. Clarke we're either alone in the universe or we're not. And I, I right, mean, right. The, the odds are we've got to be, we've got to have other life out there. Well, the bottom line, what I was trying to get at, and that, you know, I my mind wanders, but Elon Musk is is our modern day genius. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I don't know. I just can't not support this man. Like, he just he's got charm. Why do you think he gets such a such hate outside of people that actually jealousy? J jealousy do you think it's a it's a thing about free speech jealousy do you think he's, he's all of it uh, yeah. they're just jealous of him he's just you know he's he's making changes uh, uh in ways other people can't figure out how to do yeah you know like he's he's our modern day genius like he's a like what he's a tesla man yeah yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's 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 brilliant. Like you cannot and I've read his, you know, I've read the book. It he's just man, he's just gosh, I need to read it again. <laughs> now I'm I'm amped up. Maybe, maybe you should do the audio book. That'd be cool. That would get you to do the audio book for, for the Elon Musk story. You know, or we could get to get a group reading, get a bunch of us take a chapter, you know. When that oh, yeah, out. yeah, that would be fun, actually, man. Like a little book club. Yeah, that would be cool. We could yeah, yeah. I'm digging awesome. that. 
Yeah, we'll right. see. Let's get uh, let's get some of the writers block group like Stephanie and and Texas Elizabeth. Maybe Honey Badger could jump in at Norwood or something. Oh, I love them people, man. Yeah, so good. One of the things that I like to see, and I and I want to hear some stories from you, but I've seen. I I agree wholeheartedly. I feel like ever since you know, uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, Elon's a man. I mean, we uh, he's human just like all of us. He definitely is it has his brilliance. And I'm sure people in the time of Tesla, the act the person didn't go like, oh, he's a he's an Elon. You know, it's it was in the past. So right. I think that there's yeah, but it's it's I think people will history will look back fondly on it. But as far as the social media platform, I've seen a lot of positive effects. You know, Texas Elizabeth has really come into her own as with her poetry and with her self confidence, and uh, she's—I don't know if you've listened to her episode with us—is that she's had a rough going of it up to this point, but she's like, it's almost like she's found her tribe. I haven't—I haven't crossed paths with her in a while, but the last time we we were in a space together, she—we have a lot of fun. She yeah. is a phenomenal, phenomenal lady. What? What are some stories have you seen who uh, of positivity coming out of your interactions with you? Like, have you seen people grow or become happier? Like, like is could X social media when when you're in the right circles can it have a positive effect on mental health? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's all about support. Yeah, we got to support each other. You know, like I support. You know. Everybody I follow, I I support. I try to reply. I try to, you know, do a reaction. I, you know, I try to stay engaged. Like, that's what it's all about. And that's how you, you know, not only make connections, but keep connections. Like, I'm constantly reaching out to, to you know, the people I engage with. You know, that's important. Let them know, you know, it's not just an act. You're you're an actual person. Yeah, there's a person there. And, right, and it, and, right. And it's, it's like you're not engagement farming. I, I'm actually genuine. You know what I mean? Like, I want to help you, you know, I, in it's, any way I can. You know, I, I'm building these... Uh, these relationships, you know, like it's becoming intertwined with my real life. And I, I think, and it is your real life. Like, I, I feel like that's, you know, the people that I've met on, on, on social media, they're real people. And it, it, to me, it, it, it's, I've, it is real life. Uh, the one thing that's that I, I, the one thing that, that uh, I, I just don't understand. And maybe, I don't know how you, I want to hear how you feel about it. There are folks that I admire, folks that are friends of mine, but I feel like sometimes some of my friends get a little too wrapped up in the algorithm stuff, and they like, oh, I'm, I can't retweet your tweet because I've already retweeted <laughs> yeah. five times today, and I've got to go back and delete this tweet, and if the sun is shining, i got to post three more times. No, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I mean, we all have our, I don't know, we all have our own way of doing this. Yeah. You know, like I... Like I, I'm, I'm a weirdo. Like I look at the clock and if it's like, if it says 12, 12, I'm like, Oh shit, I need to post. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Yeah. Like if it's, if it's like three thirty three in the afternoon, Oh, that's a great time. <laughs> Bob o'clock is that's eight Oh eight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Four twenty. Yeah, of course. Just <laughs> random times like that, but for some reason it has. I, uh, I'm just always trying to be clever, and that doesn't matter. Nobody looks at what time you post. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But it makes me feel good. Yeah. Well, and that and that kind of part of it too. I mean, you do it. You know, it's it's for your enjoyment. You know, like the tweets you like, interact with the people yeah. that bring you joy. Exactly. Well, outside of social media, what are some things that bring you joy? Honestly, I, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to get personal, but 
I, Mondays, I always dedicate to not leave the house, just chill with my chihuahua. Oh. And you know what's your chihuahua's name? Sophie. That's right, Sophie. And you and you found Sophie. I know there was a time where Sophie went missing for a while. Uh, it, well, you know, it, it was early when I was doing spaces, and I don't have this option because I'm on an Android. But, uh, you know, the soundboard, every time they'd do like a horn or something, she would freaking freak out and run away. Oh, and <laughs> like under the bed. And I would get so mad at everybody. <laughs> but that hasn't happened in a long time. So I don't know. Maybe people actually believed me. Well, that's good. I, I'm glad. It is. Well, how does, what are some things that you uh, do to spend time on Monday with Sophie and, and Detroit? Oh, dude. It's just me and her on the couch watching TV, making memes, <laughs> and, uh, eating food. That's good. It's a sacred. It's you keep got to keep days like that sacred. You know, you got to. Oh yeah, that's why it's a the dedicated day. You know, it's just me and her. You know, we don't even open the door, man. It's just us in our in our oversized doghouse. <laughs> doghouse for for humans too, right? Yes, I mean she is the queen, man. I just I live in her house. <laughs> you you're paying the money, but it's it's uh yeah, she's in charge, right? She knows yeah. the answers. Well, she she deserves it. Trust me. Do you think more people will would feel less stress if they just had that day where they could just unplug from everything from from the from their job and from everything and just chill? I I don't think it would hurt anybody to try it I, I i don't think you know a lot of people you know we're we're all human we got to get up at, and getting out makes us feel better mm -hmm. i mean that's a fact I, I mean it is for me anyway you know getting out being in the sunshine all that good shit get but that vitamin d mm -hmm. but you know, in my personal opinion, yes, I think everybody needs to dedicate like some kind of, I don't know, time frame to, you know, just decompress, don't do anything, you know, just have time to think, time to heal, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I used to get so like I used to get bent out of shape on something like something on social media where someone would disagree with me, but not or I'd I'd read something I didn't like and it would bother me for 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 the whole day. And then mm -hmm. I realized well, why am I upset about this? Why why am I letting this into my into interfere with my joy? You know? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's you know. I mean. Social interaction is so important. I mean, I can't stress that enough, but uh, being secluded could benefit also, in my opinion. Um, I, I wouldn't say that to excess, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like one day a week, you know, just you and your dog or you and your spouse, you, you know, I mean, just take one day to just be with yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think that's important. Yeah. Even Superman had his fortress of solitude for a reason. You know? Oh I mean, yeah. That's a good, I mean, and Batman has the bat cave, you yep. know? Absolutely. I think, I think it's, I think it's a huge thing. It's important um, to, to make sure you, and self care, like just self care is important. Um, you know, taking care of you. I think sometimes people uh they lose sight, they get kind of caught in the grind, and they uh I think sometimes people get lost in the in the shuffle, they get caught in the grind and they forget uh how important self-care is. Yeah, that yeah, I could see that. I mean, I've been there. Mm -hmm. What about what a, the the Greg gang? Uh, tell us a little bit more about what that is for listeners that aren't very familiar with the Greg gang, and what is the what's the deal with the the Crocs Revolution? 
<laughs> well, uh, Greg Gang's just, you know, Greg Gang's just fun. Yeah. It's, you know, we're all supporting Greg. We're, you know, just trying to hang out with the guy, you know, through X. That's what all of that is about. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I mean, he, you don't have to be a, a Greg to be in the Greg gang. I mean, it's like I said, it's just all about support. Yes. Absolutely. And then the whole croc thing is, <laughs> you know, I, I work for uh, Brock Pearson pro bono. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it, part of what I do is support Brock. And, so I have to wear Crocs. <laughs> is Brock going to come out with his own line of Brock's Crocs? There's no clue what's going <laughs> up, uh, what's going on up in the great white north or whatever. The like Canada, Canada. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was trying to get at. Yeah. It, they wear There's Crocs no telling, there, man. <laughs> and, um, Brock's uh, seems has to. There seems to be an obsession with hot dogs too. Oh yes, he. I mean, he is the best hot dog slash Crocs influencer that has ever been, and probably will ever be. Yep. As long as you don't know what's inside the hot dog, you don't ask about the ingredients. Just enjoy the taste. I just wish he would keep me more in the loop. You know what I mean? I work for the man for, yeah. you know, pro bono. Does he give you any kind of uh, special benefits for working? Does he? Does he pay? He doesn't pay you in hot dogs, does he? No, he doesn't pay me at all. I pay him. Pay him with your services. Very cool. No, I pay him three dollars a month. <laughs> I'll subscribe to no Brock Brock is great man Brock has has literally helped me out so much and he he's a super cool dude he's great on spaces uh yeah it he's one of my favorite connections I've made and, and spaces seems to be like almost uh a game changer with social media from the standpoint of, you know, it's kind of part radio, but also part those old, I don't know if you remember those chat lines or like, it's like a, vo- a vocal chat room and you know, everybody there's protocols and, and, and you can, you can find yourself in a good space. And there's some spaces that are kind of like uh, the dark part of town. Don't go down that, that alley, but yeah, right. <laughs> you can end up in a space where you're like, Whoa, where's this coming from? But, uh, but if it's kind of like like you said earlier, you know, if you surround yourself, you if you if you surround yourself with good people, you know, people that are uplifting, you can find yourself with um, you can find yourself in these groups and these have these wonderful conversations. How important is it to uh, surround yourself with with uplifting positive people? Uh, well, I'll tell you. I'll well, tell well, I mean, let me let me rephrase that. Like, versus being stuck in an echo chamber, because I think some people find themselves around a bunch of yes people. You know, so you've got to kind of balance that out. You got to have people that are genuine with you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. Like I said, I've you know the connections you make on here are important, or they are to me. Um. I run in tight circles, you know, I always mess with the same people and consistency is a key on here. Yes. Because, you know, you, you gotta keep up with your favorite people and the circles you, you run in, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm in a couple of big chats and you know, we always have fun, you know, I'm always hanging around and and I love these people, you know, like every day I learn something new about them. It seems. Oh, that's, and that's really cool. I, 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 uh, I actually started kind of, uh, learning about spaces and people, um, through, uh, 
through the our number one supported uh, skincare line uh, CEO Am- Amber Champagne. I don't know if you oh, familiar with the Amber. Amber faves, man. <laughs> I love Amber so much. She is, gosh, she's always a pleasure to be around. My only worry about Amber is does she sleep because she seems to be like multitasking upon multitasking. She's she's got such a a brain for so many awesome projects and she's and but she has a lot of people supporting her too so i guess that that's helpful but you know she's doing comedy spaces she's writing she's managing her skincare line um and yeah she, no she, it's crazy she's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's like uh like above and beyond man she's she might be an alien i'm not well, sure but that's a possibility but i was gonna put forth this conspiracy theory that amber had her skincare line has she's been doing it for so long that she's created a clone of herself and there's actually five oh. ambers out there that are doing all these things yes i agree with you 100 <laughs> Well, that, hey, we could do worse than having more more Ambers around. I think so. And I um I did want to ask you though too, uh, because part of your your mission, if you will, is to kind of spread positivity and levity and make people smile. But why do you Maybe feel you like do you feel like it? Why do you feel like that's needed more than ever in today's society? Like why now more than ever, or has it always been the same? I don't know. Maybe it's a uh something on me you know like i you know i just try to make a point every day to smile because if you smile people most most of the time will smile back yes and that makes you feel good you know what i mean like uh like if you go to i don't know i think Social interactions are getting very watered down. Mm-hmm. And it's just, just smile at one another. You know, you know what I mean? Like, absolutely. just say, thank you, please. How are you doing? How's your day going? Hope you're doing well. That kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing how, like, if you're, like, you go to the grocery store. And you're walking by somebody and just make eye contact and smile and say, hey, good morning or good afternoon. You know, nine times out of ten, you might get some grumpy person that just looks at you strange. But you also might get somebody that will smile back at you. And there's there's a connection there. And it, it's it's almost like a shared, benefit, like, uplifting moment. You know, you may, you may have made that person's day. Yes. Like, yeah. perfect example. Like before I got home today, I I had to go and get new brakes, which is extremely expensive. Yeah, but that's uh, it's you got to get them though. Yeah, yeah, but that's beside the point. But I had to stop at a convenience store, and I had to buy something that it required an ID. And I showed her my ID, and she was like, "Wow." You wear that well. And I was like, what? (laughs) And and she was like, yeah, I just wasn't expecting that to be your birthday. And I was like, oh, my God, that made my day. Flattered. Like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I was blushing so hard. (laughs) Like I was like, oh my god, that, that, that like seriously, I'm just in the right place at the right time, got the right compliment. Yep, my day's made, man. Like uh, nobody can ruin this day for me. And don't you want to do that for others too? Uh, every single day, that's what I try to do, man. Yeah, it's such a cool feeling. That's it's like- what it's all about. That's why I'm always smiling. I will never post anything with me not smiling. I think that's important. You know, smile anyway. The world could be on fire, but smile anyway. It makes it that it makes it better. You know, and, and I think it I think it's contagious. I think, you know, there's something to paying it forward, putting putting positive smiles out there. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what we gotta do, man. 
I, I honestly believe every smile creates a smile. Yes. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Maybe more than one. You know? Maybe. I think so. And then if that, by math, just sheer mathematics, that just, that'll spread as, as far as it can. You know, people choose to not smile back, I think. when I mean, granted, some people, they're... Oh, they yes, Everybody's got something going on. If they don't smile back, that's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I don't know that person. Uh, it, he could, you know, I have no idea what he's going through. What and, else that's, you- and that's okay. They don't smile back, but you have to try. And you don't know that they, they may not have smiled on the outside, but you don't know what kind of effect that long term that's had. You know, they might be thinking, wow, you know, life isn't so bad. Or, wow, that dude, you know, was being respectful. Or, that dude was smiling at me. You know, maybe, maybe life isn't as bad as I think. Or you don't know, you never yeah, know yeah. what kind of effect that is. That of has course. Like- of course. I mean, make an effort. <laughs> uh, hold the, hold the door open for people. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. say please, say thank you, all that good stuff. You know that, all of that. I mean, even if it's a little amount at a time, it adds up. It does. It does. And the more of us that do that, the more, the I think the better place we uh, we would have living in. Yeah, you mentioned your age, and you know, the clerk was surprised, and. Uh, Growing up, were you were you this positive growing up? Were you did you struggle with staying positive? And how did how have you how have you developed this this such a great outlook on life and and perspective? Well, that's that's a tough question, but I'm gonna answer it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so when I was in the sixth grade. My best friend uh, died in a four-wheeler accident. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. Long time ago. But ever since then, I was all about making friends because I felt he was, like, my only friend then. Mm-hmm. So I was, I just dedicated uh, the rest of my life to making friends and trying to keep them and, you know, be happy. Try to, at least. Do you feel like the loss of your friend, um, do you feel like that maybe showed how important connections are and to and to make as many as possible? Well, you know, I was, I guess I was like 11 when it happened. So, I mean, it was super hard. And, you know, I started, I don't know, going through a different phase, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's very important, man, to, and I just, just wanted to be cool and be accepted after that. And I think the more positive you are, the more accepted you will be. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, people want to be around positive people and uplifting people. Yeah, you nobody that's that's one of the things that's ironic is that when people are throwing their own pity party for themselves, nobody wants to be around them. But when you're smiling, anyways, people people are attracted to that. People gravitate towards positive people i think no absolutely i totally agree with you do you think there's such a thing though are are we becoming best friends right now yeah just to to quote stepbrothers yeah holy (laughs) crap are we gonna do do karate in the garage yeah we're gonna listen to rush and all that all that kind of stuff man and uh, wait yep but i um do you hear do you ever hear the term toxic positivity and have you heard people use that toxic 
positivity. Yeah, it, no, it, that, that that does not compute with me. Same. And like when I've heard people mention that, like uh, to me, it's almost like an oxymoron. Uh, yeah, that was what George Cl- George Carlin would say that you know. Is that you know, a like, real thing? Like, what does well, it mean? I think what it means, what people have used, I've, and I've only really seen it like in social media and like on podcasts. I've heard it where they talk about. People and I think what they're trying to describe is fake positivity, not toxic. But like they, they're trying to make toxic the word where someone is too pot. Like I think they're trying to condemn people that are too positive, and I don't think there's such a thing. What I think they're, they're trying, trying to hashtag it. Yes, yes, they're trying to they're trying to hashtag it exactly. Yeah. They're, trying to, they're trying to make it like. But I, I have I have seen people that are fake positive. And I'm sure you and I have come across that, you know, the importance of being a genuine positive person like you and I versus you get that person that's that you are amazing at everything you do. And really they're just, they're not, they're not really, they're not really truly meaning. There's not, there's not an intention behind it. That's positive, I guess. But I I don't know. Have you ever seen somebody that's, that's try that's like faking who they are with you? Hmm. That's a good question. It's, it's it's hard to tell. Um, you know, I'm I'm still fairly new at this whole X game, but uh, and I don't necessarily. I mean, like yeah, I, I have my suspicions. Uh, you know, but until I can, I don't know. It's so hard to tell, man. Like. Could you give me any tips about this? <laughs> well, I, I actually think, like, I'm actually thinking, uh, while you were talking, I was thinking about, you know, your attitude is the best attitude to have. It's it's like smile. Anyways, if if somebody is, like, I didn't mean in, like, a catfishing way, but, like, you know, no, yeah, yeah. people hide behind it. They hide behind a, an avatar. They hide behind a persona that they're trying to push out there that's an em- either embellished version of themselves, but I feel like, like with you and I, like being genuine is important, but when you're interacting with other people, whether they're faking or not, that's irrelevant to how we treat them. Right. Yeah. Like absolutely true story facts. And I think that even goes with not just fake people, but like with negative people with, if, if, even if somebody called me an MF or, like I'm not gonna change who uh, I am. You mother, <laughs> yeah, mother, father, exactly. <laughs> you mother, father, but if you mother, oh, <laughs> so close. But if if somebody if somebody like treats me in a negative way, I'm, I mean I'm gonna remember it. But I'm not gonna change who I am because of somebody of else's not. actions. So that's I think that's kind of the, that's kind of the solution, maybe. Nah, it's all about persistence, man. Like persistence uh claims uh I wanna say uh what's the word I'm looking for? Persistence claims consistency respect. You know, like that is what I look for most of the time, like consistency. And then Mm -hmm. as consistent as this account is, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to follow it. Yeah. You know, like there's a lot of lazy accounts out there, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And there, a lot of them are big, but Look for the consistent ones. Yes, like like that, I would, is, that is important to me. Like I, I would rather, I would rather have less followers that I, but I interact with most of them all the time than have mm-hmm. a huge account, but I rarely interact with. Like I like there's there's almost like a certain level where, like like there's the there's people that I, I look for on Twitter, like. Like I'll go, like I'll look for you for Blaze. No, I'm, for, I'm I'm right there with you, absolutely. Yeah. I did the same thing. It's it's like I I don't necessarily need to collect uh, followers like Pokemon. You know, it's like I I just want to enjoy 
Twitter, and yeah, you know, I I, uh, I made recently a. Uh, oh, that's that's a great reference, by <laughs> the way. Like Pokemon, I like that a lot. Yeah, I choose you. Uh, oh choose my you god! Jordan. Remember Pokemon Go? Yeah, that was big for like a that a, debacle. Jeez, <laughs> I I drove by um, a public park on my way to work every morning, and one morning I drove by, and when Pokemon Go first came out. And there was like a mob of people in the corner of this park with their phones out, all That's trying great. to catch like a Pikachu or something. I couldn't do it, man. I, I couldn't get into it. I was like, no. Like, first day, I was like, people are in the streets. <laughs> yeah. Some lady people got out of her car. Street, holding up traffic <laughs> to find Pokemon. And I was like, nope. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Some lady got out of her car so she could get like a Mewtwo or something. I mean, that was like first day. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> like, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's amazing when, when something catches on it and how, uh, how, how people just can lose their minds with that. And then, you know, right, there's right. something to the whole capture of social media to, or capture like a game or some, something in the zeitgeist gets you. But yeah, yeah. people are losing their minds over that. Yeah, everybody was over it. I mean, I, I mean, but, I guess some people still play that, but it's, yeah, not it's not like I'll never, I'll never forget that first week, man. It was so <laughs> weird. People just showing up in the middle of the road with, with their phone I mean, going. it was in the news. They were like, <laughs> people are holding up traffic. Walking in the road, trying to pick up Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Go is like free advertisement. Yep, free yeah. advertisement. Yeah, what? What? Getting back to kind of talking about followers though, and and like the algorithm, and and I, you know, I I don't know enough about like the the algorithm and and how many times you need to tweet and do this and that, but uh, and people and, and, and nobody does. Yeah, but nobody I, really <laughs> does. Not I'm, even the people that work for X. <laughs> yeah, they they don't even they don't even Elon may not even really fully fully know at this point where where it goes. But I like I like to um I kind of likened uh, this experience like Walt Whitman. I don't know if you're familiar with Walt Whitman the poet, but he had a, a, poem, a poem called uh, "The Learned Astronomer," where he he uh, he describes being in in a classroom where this astronomer is dissecting and throwing all these equations about space and he get and the the author uh, the poet Walt Whitman gets sick in his stomach and goes outside and just stares up at the sky and to see the stars and what I love about that is it's like it's showing that you know forget all these equations just enjoy the beauty of, of space and I I like in that I made a variation of that poem where like being in a space, learning about algorithms and how to and get engagement and how to get all this stuff. And instead, I'd rather just go out, just go and retweet people and respond to people that I bring me joy. You know, forget Absolutely. about yeah. It's like audience versus engagement, or audience versus algorithm is better than algorithm. It, it, it's what it's all about. Just engage. You know, okay. don't worry about the algorithm. Like I wouldn't post every you know 10 minutes or anything yeah. but you know every couple hours you know like it, it it should be this is a chill platform mm -hmm. if you think about it and the chillest people grow do you think it's or also that that's true? my understanding i mean i've you know i've been jumping up here and there i mean one day i'll get almost three hundred thousand impressions and then the next day i'll only get five thousand yeah and it, you know it, what i mean it like it, it, it it's a popularity contest and it's all about timing yep yeah sometimes like, and there's nothing wrong with that it's just chill like uh, it's all chill, man. That's that's what I think. I love it, and that's a great that's a great thing to apply to life, you know. 
I mean, you're regardless of your situation. Timing, you man. Yeah. Timing. Absolutely. Well, Zeke, this has been fantastic, dude. I feel like you and I have become closer friends just talking. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. I've got um, one question to wrap up, and that's just, do you have any kind of any advice that's more than a fortune cookie to give to our listeners about mental health and just, you know, staying positive in general? Absolutely. Uh, I'm a, okay. I'm just going to do it off the top of my head. When you wake up in the morning and you feel bad, which in my experience, that's every morning, just get up, you know, stretch, kiss your dog, kiss your baby, kiss your spouse, whatever. Take a, take a hot shower, mm -hmm. brush your teeth, comb your hair, look good for the rest of the day. You know, yeah. I mean, just take care of yourself. The more you take care of yourself, the better you will feel. And that's all I have to say. That's tremendous, though. Tremendous advice. Take take care of yourself, and you will feel better about yourself, and you will feel better about your day. I agree a thousand percent. Zeke, thank you so much. Obviously, on the one place people can find you on X. Uh, Zeke, um, bunch of numbers. What are the numbers, Zeke? Five six nine two three seven six five four two zero. There you go. And I'll put it at the bumper at the end of this. So everybody, go give Zeke a follow. It'll improve your. I guarantee, following Zeke on X will improve your mental health, and you'll find the world's a much brighter place with a little bit of positivity and levity. From Zeke in your life. Well, for Zeke, this has been so fun, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'd love to have you back too. I and mean, I might even, uh, I'm thinking about having a panel. Maybe I'll bring you and a couple others on. Maybe we'll get uh, our skincare expert, uh, skincare and mindset expert, Amber, on with us. And we'll, uh, Dude, I'm down for whatever. You just let me know. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you. For, on behalf of Zeke, everybody, treat yourself, take good care of yourself. And remember to smile anyway, no matter what. Thank you, everybody. Always remember, you are not Catch full episodes every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific.